hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will be trying tiktok at touch so get your ipad get your phone and let's do this together on this channel i post digital art related content so don't forget to subscribe to see more content from me every tuesday let's get into the video so this is the first tiktok in this tiktok this person turned one side of elsa into fire and one side into eyes so this is the eye side and the eyebrows are eyes you know i don't know if that's tears but i think it is correct me if i'm wrong and then the eyebrows the eyes and everything so i'm going to try this too and this is the fire side for example they make her hair reddish orange reddish orange to get like that fire theme you know and then the eyebrows and the eyes and i forgot to do the eyes <laughs> it don't matter and i feel like this person did really good so yeah i'm going to be trying that now so first i added a square canvas and then i added a photo of elsa which i got from google by the way i just searched Elsa and then it came up it was one of the photos that came up so I choose that one as it was the one that was used in the TikTok so yeah then I moved the layer with Elsa on it the low layer one so that I don't draw on it and use layer two instead then I use the straight ruler I think it was here. Yes, we finally did it. And also a like tip I would give is to use the ruler. Like because yeah, it just makes your lines straighter and as the ruler has like lines, 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 and then the ruler, you should use those lines to help you to get the right straight line which is half I don't know if that makes sense I hope it made sense then I made the hair orange mm -hmm. so I used a orangish reddish color and I kind of skipped that part since it took a long time and I didn't want this video to be too long And I was on to the other half of the hand, and that was the ice, which means it had to be blue. And I didn't do that, I did that off camera because obviously you saw what I did with the red one, so yeah, I thought that would be pretty. Then I lowered the opacity again, and I think the head. Then I did the eyeshadow panel, and then I did the blue eyeshadow, of course. Was the icy side, and I think the eyeshadow idea was like a really good idea. This is like out of the pot. And then I used the filter, the Gersian, say it right, Gersian the filter.
and now onto the lips made the lips on the fire side an orange color and on the other side the ice side a blue color of course what else and for this I did it like I did with the hair I um, colored half of the lip in which was the fire side and then the with the opacity Then lower the opacity just like I did with everything else really. Time for the tears or whatever they are maybe. And for this I used like the recent like tool put on this app which is the special pen and then I used the liquify pen to give it a more of the kind of vibe so I just played around with that for a little bit to get the right size and shape <laughs> and then obviously we had to put some shading in there since we are artists some shading in there so I used a lighter color and I kept I kept like going on like yeah as you can see it's really you can see what I'm doing so I don't even have to explain so then I did the ice like frozen tears since it's ice obviously it's frozen means I used a lighter color every time I drew over it Then I did the eyebrows, um, I think I did really well on them, because it looked like exactly like the eyebrows. I'd say I'm pretty good at doing eyebrows, actually. The eyebrows, giving me very much realistic vibes like it looks like it was actually from the picture wow. disclaimer none of the tiktok videos like used in this um thingy belonged to me like i took them from tiktok and the usernames are obviously like the top um top right and bottom left of the video so yeah so we saved um, time for the second TikTok. I literally love this one. Like, guys, go literally follow this person. Like, I love this. Like, the way they did it is literally so, like, perfect and really, like, pastel aesthetic, if you may. Like, I love it. The second TikTok art hack, I use the circular ruler that you get from like the straight rectangle thing up there in the top right or the like sunset type of like vibe. I wanted to get the exact pink that she used, he or she used, but um I don't think I got the exact one but I feel like it turned out really good Hello 
where it would like blend in with your background unless your background's like another color but i prefer a white background and then use the gusion 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 blur tool from the filter um tool below that and i erased like the part since i i don't really like it like that But then again, you can leave it like that since I think if you leave it like that, it's like more, it's like more nice to see. I don't know if you get that, but yeah, you can leave it like that as well. But I prefer my things to be like precise and like sharp. And now I added a new layer, which means now there were three layers and the third layer that I just added was for the hill that I was going to draw. Then I colored it in and here I was trying to make it more sharp like that and more like higher and then I rubbed off like mistakes that were around the circle. Then I looked for the little trees or what are they called i don't know what they're called i call them trees then i accidentally stopped recording but if you guys want like a like like tutorial kind of just comment down below and i'll definitely look into that and looking to doing that for you guys and for the moon i decided to add a little moon and i really like the way i did it like it looks so nice um stay till the end if you guys want like a how i did the moon because i end i like edit the the clip at the end of me um giving you guys like a walk over like talking over it and how i truly did it since I didn't add it like in this clip so this is the third TikTok I really like this like this whole thing like I really like it and it's a really like messy and easy way to draw hair just to like hair effect if you know what I mean and they use the airbrush but then me I actually use the hairbrush for this to smudge so of course firstly i drew not drew even scribbled using a dark brown color then i took a lighter shade of brown and scribbled but like thinner like using thinner lines so i made my brush a bit smaller not a bit a lot but yeah basically scribbling like this that's why i really like this because you don't have to like have know how to do amazing art you literally just scribble and as you can see i was going lighter and lighter as i was going i wanted to change it to like a reddish brown color but then that didn't work so i went back to brown as you can see and then until you get to white and then I watched an ad. If you want to use it for free, you have to watch an ad. And then I smudged it. And it's really easy, guys. You just follow the lines that you drew. The smudge tool is like the one with like the finger. As you can see down there, the bottom left.
and then they were straight. You could just leave it like the way it is, but then I prefer to make it look more neat. But then you can leave it messy if you like. I feel like that's um, fine too. what we've all been waiting for today's shout outs go to solo guy misplaced niles carol dream on and leanne hassan thank you so much for the support i love you absolutely so much and yeah just thank you so much so for the moon i took a circular ruler put it like tried to put it right in the middle um use the dip and hard to draw a circle um and then i used the bucket tool to fill it in and i had a black background by the way and then i added a new layer which was layer three and i used a gray color not too dark and then I used the airbrush tool to add some shading to it because the moon is 3D it's not just like a flat shape it's not like a 2D shape so and then I took an even darker color put it at the bottom and my opacity as you can see was a like 39 and I just kept um, like playing around with the opacity since you know wanted to add some dimension i always say that word but it's really like i really enjoy like making things look 3d it's really like satisfying nice and then i used a white like white 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 bright white color and put it at the top and then i i clicked the clipping mask and then I added a layer on top of the black background and which means that it was under the moon and then I used the airbrush tool to like add a glowy kind of effect to it, played around with the blur tool, played around with the Gersion blur filter tool and stuff like that to make it glow. And yeah, that's basically what I did with the moon. And follow my social media that will be linked down below. I love you. Bye.